Welcome on my hoodlums, hooligans, knuckleheads, players, and pimps, slayers, and simps, hoes, and freaks, nerds, and geeks, strippers, and tipplers, thugs, and gorillas, yes, soldiers, sir. and kings, goddesses, and queens, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, niggas and bitches, and you sophisticated motherfuckers alike. Welcome to Hip Hop's Biggest Fan. <laughs> And today, um, I have a, a young man that um, I interviewed earlier this year. I want to say it was February. Yeah, February. This is his, he, we, we here to talk about his third project he put out this year. He told right, us he was coming with like four or five. <laughs> yeah, but I'm with ABF yeah. Big C. Yes, sir. All blue My faces. Um, All blue faces. Man, this motherfucker hard. <laughs> I'm, 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 this is your best I one I've heard. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely. Straight I'm up with that. A lot went into this one. A lot of shit transpired since the last time we met, so. It's called yeah. Big Fish. Big Fish. Um, shark yeah. shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, um, bro, this, 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 this is your best one. This, to me, this is from, I wanna say it was February? When we, since February. It was February did? 24th, when I you, think. When you dropped that shit? Yeah. Cause we did it like the day of, you mm -hmm. dropped it or something. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. That's um, when I dropped it, uh. The Blueface EP. Yeah. I dropped that joint tape with me and ABF Pfeiffer. And then I dropped my own EP, Care Package, in March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I ain't dropped since until October 10th. So but five you, days ago. But you said when we talked the first time, in this same setting. Yeah. <laughs> you said I'm coming back with four or five projects, just personal. Real shit. Not even just ABF total. Real shit. And to be honest, I would have been at four right now. It's just like I said, a lot transpired. From March to now. We know what the fuck going yeah, on, so, my nigga. <laughs> but, uh, so this a lot whole pandemic, this. pandemic, COVID-19 shit, is, nigga, yeah. this shit just hell. This shit done fucked a lot of shit up, and it's like, I'll be glad when this shit is over. I'm going to give it to 2022. I like that. In yeah, my mind. Shit. Just in my mind, no, like... This shit not going to be gone next year, 2022, I like that. Just in my mind. Real shit. Because when this shit happened... They shut down schools. I was like, nigga, the year is over. They were like, what do you mean that the year is and over? And I had like, to work throughout the whole pandemic and all that. Me so, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, I got yeah. off the first two weeks. Because I was like, nigga, hold up. But whatever. Um, oh, but yeah, nigga still got to, you know, get out here and get this money. Um, Definitely. Gotta but yo, this, this, yo, I'm going to just, all right, seven tracks on this motherfucker. Eight. Eight? All right, forgive me. It's eight. <laughs> eight tracks. It's eight tracks. I be fucking up sometimes. So players <laughs> fuck up too. Um, Yo, this your best one. Definitely. This this your best one. Definitely. I've listened to I all had a of lot them. of time to you feel me make a lot of music and pick the best sequence of songs over that course because I've been making a lot of music, but those was the best ones for this team. Besides you being, I'm, I'm not being fucked up or fucking. Besides you being a big man, mm -hmm. cause you ain't no little little man, <laughs> right? Why is this bitch called Big Fish? I just wanted to set myself apart, like you feel me, like it's a lot of fish in the ocean, but. It's not too many big fish, you feel me? It's a lot of it's a lot of artists, quote unquote, uh, out here portraying an image but not really taking it serious, not really being an artist, um, both music and business wise. But I do both, so I wanted to separate my myself from apart from the crowd. So I'm the big fish in the ocean, you feel me? Like when they see me coming, they they get out the way. Now, what you saying that this leads me back to our first conversation. You said I'm not a rapper. Nigga, I'm an artist. I'm an artist. And you displayed that. It's a job. I, um, you, you, you fully displayed that um, on all of your projects. Yeah, facts. Um, Especially this one. And, but <laughs> but the, you telling me that. You know what I mean? It made me like really pay attention like in that aspect rather than, nigga, I'm just a rapper. I'm an MC. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. You know I don't what I mean? like the label of... I never... Coming in, because you know we just started this year, but coming in, I never liked being called a rapper because it feel like, like we did in the last interview, I feel like it put you in a bubble and it's like... In a bubble or box. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. like an artist meaning like I still want to venture into other shit. Like I still want to get some pop records out. I still want to get... You got I got some, a couple R&B records you out. Got like, some, you got some pop shit, yeah. my nigga. And I'm like... Real tough. Okay, he made he he twerked the fuck out that auto too. Real shit, but it's it's my my biggest goal coming in was just you feel me not being caught up in the Baltimore bubble. Like, nah, he's somebody who can 
be bigger than his surroundings. He can really make it like him right there. It really can take off. See, things that you're saying to me, and I've heard before when I'm paying attention, um, you're speaking into existence. As you yeah. say, I, you, you, oh, man, I'm going to fuck the lines. <laughs> I know you got several lines in it. As you said, one of, one of my favorite lines you said um, was about, nigga, we staying independent or something to that effect. Yeah. We ain't want, want no deals. Yeah. Um, where does that mindset and that men, men, mentality come from? That come from doing your homework. Well, okay. Well, doing your homework, talk about studying, it. and that's what I mean by Studying who? Fish. Studying what? The game, period. Mm. Like, my favorite people to study right now, currently, like, I look into, like, Master P. Russ, uh, Chance the Rapper, um, just business wise though, not even studying their music per se, but like that's what I meant by a big fish, like doing your homework both music, cause you can be nice as shit in the music, no, no and be yo, bullshit in yo, the business. Hey yo, respect to that. Yeah, fact. Like, um, and see, to master, I won't say master P might be the biggest no, motherfucker. He the goat with it. He the goat, especially the independent tip and like. I done took some things from his blueprint that I'm ready to implement real soon, and it's going to be big. I see that. I'll be, I be, be, be paying to, to that little <laughs> shit. You know, you can Google this motherfucker and yeah, ABF and all that. Like, yeah, but you did that you yourself. Need. Yeah. But it's, it was the want, bro. Like, that's what I mean. Like, this tape is just a mixtape, but it's so much bigger than that because it's like, it's so much bigger than just being an artist. It's, it's bigger than that. Like, business. Business like setting up generational wealth for your family, actually getting money. You know how many rappers out here rapping and not getting no money? Like yeah. I got, I know I done made more money than a lot of motherfuckers that been out already. Because I, 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 I know the business. They ain't getting that big percentage. Yeah, hell no. They ain't getting they, shit. They, they, <laughs> they getting that upfront money. Y'all get getting that likes and views. Y'all not getting no money. They get that little money up front. Right. And they don't get shit on the back. Real this shit. This is why NBA Youngboy was like, I, I get all my next four albums for free. Let me own my masters. My they my masters like, back. It was like, no, no, sir. No, thank you. They said, no, you we'll throw you some more money. Like, yeah. You ain't getting your masters. And that's one thing that I know, you feel me, from and, homework. And I ain't, you ain't getting mine. <laughs> and Kanye campaigned for motherfuckers to get their masters exactly. back. But I ain't going to sound fucked up or funny. But uh, good luck with that because the music business was set up off the mall. If you know anything about the mob, nigga, they want they money. They, they, they look. They taking their shit. Ironclad shit. They taking their shit. Dictation. Um, don't care about your feelings. Nothing. No, nah, because you signed this contract, and that's what the fuck it is. But that was a, just education. Like, going in. Like, I know I feel confident going into a meeting about contracts and knowing what I'm talking about. I feel confident going to discuss money about distribution or merchandising or any of that. And I feel confident enough to say... Look, I know the terms and stipulations. I need them to be in my ballpark or this ain't going to work. Now, since we're talking about this. Right. Um, are you familiar? I, I, this was brought to my, my attention. I was watching I was watching something and um, Smoke Dizzle brought up the word perpetuity. Perpetuity. No. Perpetuity means forever, pretty much. Like, to no end. Like, let's say if you had a contract and they say, we will have... The rights to your music in perpetuity, X, Y, and Z. Right. Nigga, that shit pretty much means, nigga, we gonna have this, this shit forever. Damn near until... That's how they get you. Right, but they That's use, them, they they right use them big ass lawyer words. But oh, I would say, right, look yeah, that shit up. That niggas don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Perpetuity. Perpetuity ain't nothing to fuck with. I started. Perpetuity ain't nothing no independent artist wanna fuck with or any artist, period. And that's the thing, like... Before I started rapping, my be so happy I to get always a deal, knew. No, you good. Before I started rapping, I always knew that I wanted to make music. Okay. I always knew it was just always other we, shit. We talked on. about yeah. this. Yeah, we talked about it. But during that time, I was already studying. Like before I was writing and all that, I was already studying like the business. Like I was right. already into it, and it was so intriguing. Like that's how that's how I can always tell who who is for and who is not. Cause like when you love it, it feel good learning this shit. It's like homework. It's like schoolwork. I'm, 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 I'm fucking. I'm gonna jump on some me shit. Right. I remember biting a buying. I said biting, buying a book in ninety nine two thousand from Barnes and Nobles when they was up tossing in a little circle mm -hmm. about the music business and reading that shit like, and I was offered something from um, Black Round Records 
and I got to talk to them niggas about numbers, and they was like, uh, and I'm like, look, bro, I know my worth, man. Look, I've, I've been reading up on this shit, as you saying, because I'm so intrigued. I have right. no, ain't nobody around me in the music industry, ain't, no, ain't nobody in my family in yeah, this shit, fact. but I'm intrigued yeah. in the, I started rapping, DJing, producing, learning to be an engineer. I'm I'm doing you know, my homework. You hard know, too still. I'm just saying I'm yeah, doing my I'm homework. So as to what you're saying, right. it's like, nah, yo, yo, I, I'm not about to get jerked just just Facts. to get on. Facts. You know what I mean? And that's how I felt. Niggas settle for just to get on. Like, I'm talking about niggas settle for nothing to get on. Mm -hmm. Like to be seen. Don't even read they fucking. Don't even read Real they. Shit. Even they they get whoever lawyers they lawyer and then just take their word for it rather than do your research in words of perpetuity and a uh, perpetuity and all whatever the fucking other words that the big ass words and, and little ass words that, that you know shit. what I mean that being the simplest shit in the world. Um, something else that you just said er early while well, in the conversation mm -hmm. is that you said on your um, album, um, bigger than a Baltimore art. Right. Um you got that sign. Yeah, I'ma say that though. I'm I'm I mean I'm just you know, I I I know um I be listening to a lot of shit, yo. This your best work, yo. Yeah. This your best work so far. And it, it, it has me excited because um if this your best work so far, and you being a young man in your early twenties. Um, I can't wait for that album. This is just a mixtape. Like, and it was crazy, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. Talking I'm about be it. completely honest with y'all. But this tape, it's crazy the response that I got so far because I wasn't anticipating it. Like, for me, this tape was so long overdue that I thought I was just putting out some songs for people to have because I've been so long. But, like, the response I've been getting, they treating it like it's the album. So I'm, I can only imagine how the album going to go. Like, I mean, bro, you dropped the joint in February. You dropped the joint in March. Mm -hmm. This is... April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So we what? Eight months later, mm -hmm. um, you drop another project. So this is three in one year. Mm -hmm. um, bro, you working? It ain't the last one either. Uh, you told me. <laughs> you said that. All right, cool, good money. You said we get four or five. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but the biggest, the biggest thing I gotta get right now is is the videos. Because of all the COVID and I had some health issues going on, I couldn't shoot videos. Okay. But now I'm feeling back, close to 100%. I've been lacking on the videos and I feel like this year was flawless. That's the only blemish I have to put the visual to the audio so it can mesh and take off. But that's in the plans. Like I'm, I'm shooting this weekend. Yeah, the visuals are very important. Yeah, um, especially now because um, shit, ain't no 106 in park. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what revolt, and, and I, I don't be really watching TV music videos on TV, you know, right. um, YouTube and, and wherever else. Nigga, that shit is everything. Pretty yeah. people, your phone, nigga, is, is... And if you look, like, it's just, you feel me, if you look at any track, whoever your favorite artist is, any of your, whatever the case may be. Right. They videos have more numbers than the they actual songs. song itself. Yep. Yep. So you need that visual. They gotta see you. You feel me? And that's feel. That's why I feel like um, my only mistake uh, came from this year was not giving y'all enough visual. Brother, I'm gonna say what. I'm, I'm, I'm forgive me. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to cut you off. I, I don't believe in. in I, I, we all make mistakes. But from the what you were just um, telling us, you know, uh, physical things, and we know what the fuck been going on mm -hmm. this year. Shit been very. Iffy. Yeah, tricky as shit. <laughs> tricky as well. Fuck 2020. You know what I mean? Um, but your health is, is, is more important than anything or anybody. Yeah, any day. Any day. That's really why I took so long. Cause I, I could've I could have dropped the I could have dropped the tape in August. Uh late July. But like just the my my gang, like my team, we was like, bro, just you gotta get back right. For yeah, you, bro. Like, I mean, and, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't want to get too personal. Yeah. Um. Excuse me. God damn it, had to burp. <laughs> I've been drinking. I've been, I've been meeting. I've been thinking I was gonna meet this nigga for a couple hours. I've been start drinking early. Um, <laughs> it's all good. But I, I know um, we touched on. Should I say mental health? Yeah. Earlier, the, yeah. the last one. Yeah. I don't know if that's this is the kind of same situation you're right. talking about or not, but regardless, um, the 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 
the genuineness and the and the honesty of you to even share that. Right. See, to me, um, these are the dopest things that any artist can do, yeah, regardless yeah. of when you decide or if you decide to make a a, a song about it. Mm -hmm. Um, stripping yourself down, mm -hmm. butt naked, pretty much being vulnerable. Um, as an artist, is the realest shit and the greatest shit any and everybody can ever do. And that's um, the most attractive thing, like, to the ear. Like, one thing I know about people is, you feel me, whether they know it or not, your body, your energy know when something real and something fake. You feel me? That's why I just try to, I got to keep it real because, you feel me, to be honest, I've been fake before. Like, I've been a fake nigga. Like, you feel me, trying to portray certain images. That shit weak. Like, it don't feel comfortable like it, I feel much more comfortable being you're always gonna get exposed yeah, I'm gonna just, yeah. I'm gonna just, I just feel that way hell yeah you're always gonna get exposed your time gonna come when you faking you feel me your time gonna come like whether no matter what you're doing you could be faking for the gram faking in the streets faking work your time gonna come yeah you feel me because all them lies don't do nothing but create more lies you can't keep What's done in the dark come to light. All and motherfucker, time. if you're lying, you gotta keep up with that shit. Real I don't shit. like to lie, cause nigga. I don't like to remember some shit that I got. I, real the truth, shit. I can always remember the truth. Real you shit. You know what I mean? Because that's real to you. But them lies, you forget them the next day. Got created a lie for why you forgot the lie. Then the next day, it's a fucking domino. You end up building a web or a nest or some whole bunch of bullshit and it's real gonna shit. burn down. Or the, or the big bad wolf gonna come huff and puff and blow the motherfucker down. Fuck that. So, like I said, just in the music and everything, I try to, you feel me? Not all of me, but I try to get most of me so people can see, like, you feel me? You can feel me. You feel me? Like, the shit I be saying be real. Like, you, I want you to feel that it's deeper than just what you hearing in West Baltimore or socially relevant. No, this is really real life, like, real shit. Um, yo, know, the first. Three songs. Yeah. Magnificent. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with I you. I tried to put this. My nigga, they like magnificent. That. I'm I'm I don't wanna gash you. <laughs> and I don't want nobody to take this no kind of way if they happen to see this or anybody else I interview. Right. You might got the the, the the my favorite album I've heard so far this year, my I nigga. I appreciate that shit. That shit mean a lot, real I talk. mean I I'm, I'm and, and this is on just on some other shit. Outside of, you know, established songs, like I listen to Nas and the Locks right, and all that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Goats. They really didn't, I, I listened to them twice and I didn't care to listen no more than that. Yeah, that, no, that's, that's but, big. That's big. Um, I was turned out last year by School to Chose and he really had me like really wanting to hear new uh, newer artists or underground artists, right. whatever you want to put it. Um. You might got my favorite shit, yo, that I've heard I this year. I'm just being that. real with you. On a real even, note, I really appreciate even, that. Even with, even with you being on your pop shit with the, with the um, lady shit. Um, oh, don't Slow Down. Don't Slow Down. Need You. What's it? Need Deep um, Down. Deep Down. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm a fucking man. Deep Down. I be yeah. fucking. <laughs> um, and you know how you did it, but. And all my tapes going to have two or three of those style songs just to show the versatility. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The, other ones, the other ones had. Yeah. But to me. This one, oh yeah, it's a different level. Is is yeah, it's like a different level. The is, it's like boop boop boop, like like what bro, I told. I'm excited. My to hit team, what you I was doing. aiming for all hits, no misses. Like I ain't want, I don't want like when you bump a ABF tape in general, but especially mine, all hits, no misses. Like I want you to, I want you to really love the tape to the point where you telling the motherfucker like, bro, he hard. Like, bro, somebody else got to hear this shit. Or, you feel me, I'm putting all this shit in my playlist. This shit is too hard. Like, that's the effect I be wanting. But that's because I know what's good music. Like, I like I really still make music for me. I just know it so happen to be good. Because I make music that I love to hear first. Right. And then it, it just so happened that everybody else takes to it, too. Yeah. You 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 doing it? Yeah, that, that shit is that shit is good money. I mean, I it's gonna sound fucked up, but I I ain't promoted too hard because I I was sitting there like you reached out to me before I could reach out to you when I was just I was I was sitting there like I'm gonna just wait till I get close to this and you hit me first and I was like all right cool I was gonna wait till like probably the week of and you hit me like the week before or whatever the, all right cool we gonna get to it um and I'll be honest with you.